Hello friends, my name is Shadha Prabhu Choudhury and I am a faculty member at the Department of Aerospace Engineering, Indian University of Science, Bangalore. This summer, I will be teaching this course on combustion in air breathing aero engines. As you know, air breathing aero engines, a very good example of which is a gas turbine engine, is essentially the driver of modern air transportation, be it in civil or for military applications. Scramjet engines, which is also another example of an air breathing engine, is poised to emerge as the future of hypersonic propulsion. At the heart of these air breathing aero engines is the process of combustion, which converts the chemical energy stored in the fuel to the thermal energy that can be used for jet propulsion or can be used towards rotating the turbine and for power and that can be utilized for power generation. But this process of combustion in air breathing aero engines does not happen in one step. It happens through a series of chemical reaction, thousands of chemical reactions in intensely turbulent high pressure flows. This interaction or this presence of detailed kinetics, numerous reactions in very strongly turbulent flows makes the understanding of combustion in air breathing aero engines very challenging and at the same time very exciting. So, kinetics, turbulence along with phenomena like heat transfer, species transfer, thermodynamics that is what makes this process of combustion in air breathing aero engines so much exciting and so much important. Now, these processes kinetics, turbulence, turbulent combustion in aero engines must be understood at a very fundamental level. Why? Because we live in times where climate change has posed a great challenge upon us. We are, we, we live in a world where the pollution, environmental pollution is rising. So, the future aero engines that will be designed must be designed in a manner which produces least pollution, least pollution of harmful gases, but least uh, which emits least possible amount of harmful gases, which burns least amount of fuel such that uh, it can, uh, uh, it produces very minimal amount of uh, uh, greenhouse gases and at the same time it should also produce thrust, large thrusts ok. And uh, so, in, in view of all these competing requirements, one has to understand combustion in air breathing aero engines at a very fundamental level. So, in this course, while we will talk about basics of combustion, the main focus will, will be on co advanced topics of combustion which are relevant for air breathing aero engines. For example, we will talk about detailed chemical kinetics, theories of chemical kinetics, we will talk about oxidation mechanism of different fuels, practical fuels. We will talk about flame structure, laminar flame structure of non premix flames, premix flames, we will talk about limit phenomena and then we will move into turbulence and turbulent combustion. We will also look into different models, modeling approaches of, of uh, turbulent combustion. Then we will go into design considerations of uh, combustors as it is found in modern aero engines. We will talk about gas turbine combustors, we will talk about fundamental mechanisms involved in stabilizing a flame in afterburners and then we will talk about scramjets and scramjet combustors and the flame holding challenges in scramjet engines. So, if you are a research student, an MSc student, a MSc student or a PhD student working in a university or uh, you are a postdoc or you are a research scientist or an engineer working in an R&D organizations and in interested in propulsion and uh, uh, combustion in air breathing aero engines, this course could be beneficial for you and uh, we will definitely pitch this course at a high level, we will not compromise on rigor, we will do different kinds of mathematical analysis also that our understanding is very strong and robust. So, I hope you will enjoy this course and see you at the course, thank you very much.